Hello, I welcome all of you in my video. This is the first part of the video in which I will explain that how a multiple objective optimization can be achieved from the Taguchi results from the Taguchi signal to noise ratios. In this first video, I will apply the simple GRA gray relational analysis technique to apply the multiple objective optimization. In the second video, I will apply the weighted GRA. In, the, in that video, I will get the weights from the principal component analysis and I will let you know how a PCA can be performed. And in the third video, I will explain you a third method to perform the weighted GRA in which there will be a unique technique for, obta or for obtaining the GRA. So uh, let's start with this video. I will follow the data from this research paper. So first of all, I will go to the signal to noise ratios because the signal to noise ratio of this paper has been already explained in my video earlier videos. The first question arises that why we do the multiple objective optimization? The answer is because Taguchi signal to noise ratios are mono, mono optimization or mono objective optimization or you can say that Taguchi independently optimize all of the responsible response variables but there is no simultaneously simultaneous optimization of all the variables so you can see that the tensile strength has been optimized at experiment number five impact energy has been optimized at experiment number nine hardness at experiment number again five whereas angular distortion at experiment number three so there is a there is quite different difference among the you can say uh, treatments among on which we got the optimization of these response variables in the gra we attempt to get only one treatment of one such setting that will optimize all of my these four variables simultaneously please remember that we will apply the gra in the excel so i will uh, I will let you note all of the formulas that will be involved. So this, these are the basically signal to noise ratios that we have seen in the uh, research paper. First, the first step is the normalization. So for the normalization, there are two criteria. One of the criteria is larger the better, or highest the better, or greater the better. All of the termin terminologies are different, but they have the same meaning. So I have selected that the tensile strength and the impact strength I will use the criteria larger the better and for hardness and angular distortion I will use the criteria smaller the better or lower the better like this okay so it means that y i is the signal to noise ratio and then minimum of all signal to noise ratios maximum of all signal to noise ratios let's move to the excel so that first of all we will see that how this formula for the normalization apply for the larger the better criterions so basically in the column l you can see that uh, this is basically uh, 0 0 so i have taken that l8 so l8 is this uh, 52.97 this is one of my signal to noise ratios first one minus l19 so l19 is my uh, the minimum of all the signal to noise ratios for the tensile strength that is 52.97 divided by L20 minus L19. So I have subtracted this maximum signal to noise ratio uh, and this uh, minimum signal to noise ratio from the maximum value. So that's how I have performed this. You can see all of that L9 and L20, these are kept constant for the tensile strength. Similarly, for the impact strength, I have kept the con I kept constant M19 and M20. However, this M value is uh, M column is for the impact strength and its and its criteria is higher the better. After that, we will talk about angular distortion that is to be minimized and the hardness. So the formula is maximum value of the signal to noise ratio minus individual value divided by maximum value of the signal to noise ratio and minimum value of the signal to noise ratio. We will do this for hardness and angular distortion. So look at this column N and O. So I, when I click on this cell, you, you got that N20 minus N8. So N20 is the highest of the signal to noise ratio. Uh, please keep in mind, whenever you apply the signal to noise ratio, you will see that 43.5 
8 has a negative sign so it is higher than as compared to minus 44.56 okay so what we will do uh, we will uh, we have subtracted this maximum value minus 43.58 okay uh, and from this um, n eight value that is minus 43.97 and when then divided by n20 minus n19 so uh, the minimum value is subtracted from the maximum value 43.58 similarly the case the same formula has been repeated for the whole values of the hardness and the angular distortion has been also calculated in the same way the second step is calculation of the grc's gray relational coefficients in this formula the delta minimum is the smallest value of the normalized values and it's always zero the second thing is delta maximum it is the maximum value of the normalized value and like let's see what it is so you can see each column has maximum value of one like this here one one please follow my cursor one and here it is one so the, the second thing is that how we can you calculate the value of this style so this value is most commonly taken as 0 0.5 and i have yeah, the 43 number reference citation is also is a reference that i have used at uh, 0 0.5 in this research paper i have taken the value of the side then the last thing is that how we can calculate this uh, delta 0 j and brackets q so it is basically the, it is called deviation sequence and the deviation the formula for a deviation sequence has been given there this is the expression for the deviation sequence so using this formula we will calculate a deviation sequence okay so why not static q is the maximum value of the normalized and it is obvious to you that in my data it is one and y q is the normalized values so subtracting all of the normalized values from their maximum values or from one we will get the deviation sequence let's check in the excel file so you can see that uh, this is first one first of the deviation sequence and i have calculated like l35 minus l24 so we will have to move towards the l35 and this one column is l and now we will go downward so slightly up this is what this is l35 so l35 is one is the maximum value whereas l24 is the minimum value or it is you can see the first cell then for the second cell you can see it will become l25 and so on like this we will calculate the deviation sequence for the tensile strength once we have calculated the deviation sequence the next step is the calculation of grc's gray relation coefficients so when we put all of the values in this formula we will get the grc value and we will have to calculate this for each of the like this is the first column for the tensile strength and all the nine values second column of the tensile for impact strength third for the hardness and four for the angular distortion in the simple grc gray relational coefficients we will have to take the simple average or the simple mean i mean that i have to calculate all of these four values and then divided by four you can see the formula in the tab that one divided by four is equal to 0 0.25 multiply by summation of r24 till u24 so from r to this one uh, row i have cal i have calculated the sum of for these four values and likewise when we drag it down we will calculate we have calculated grts so far we have done with the gray relational grades but we, the last step is which value has the gray, greatest gray relational grade so the experiment number eight has a gray relational grade of 0 0.6799 and, and it has been ranked as one so that's all about gray relational coefficient analysis sometimes the student prefer to perform the gradation grades and they want to calculate grg gradation grade for all of the variables just like i have calculated for the bevel angle for temperature electrode and the root cap all of these has been calculated and then we will uh, check that how uh, that we will then calculate uh, you can say delta okay delta has been calculated from subtracting the uh, minimum value from the maximum value so in this case the minimum value is 0.494 and the maximum value is 670 the difference will become 0 0.175 likewise we will calculate the same and difference uh, minimum maximum for temperature electrode and root cap and we will rank them as the one value the value that, that that is the greatest one we will rank it as one 
and then the second one is 0 0.053 for the root cap it means that the most important variable or the factor you can see is the bevel angle uh, followed by the most important is the root cap and third one is um, you can see this is preheat temperature and the fourth one lies for the electrode diameter so that's all about simple gradational analysis and this, this was the first video i hope there will be few questions you can ask your question in the comments as well as you can contact me via whatsapp through messaging and call my email id has also been provided you can contact me anytime thanks a lot for watching the video bye